Hello and welcome to tomorrow's physicians. Today I'm going to share the complete studies plan for any sort of licensing exam such as your single lab, NLE and AMC. I'm gonna show how to take a start, which resources to use and how to effectively cover and retain information. We are gonna take a start from the general principles of physiology and then pathology and then general principles of pharmacology. Along with these general principles, we are also going to attempt questions. For that purpose, we are going to use NK BNB deck flashcards. After finishing general principles, we divide our studies plan into two major sections into organ systems and miscellaneous subjects. We divide all of our systems into four major sections into anatomy, physiology, pathology and pharmacology. So while studying anatomy, we attempt topic wise NK flashcards. And at the end of anatomy, we attempt Yosemite Rx or U word question banks. After doing anatomy of that particular system, we can move on to physiology of that system and we can also attempt uh, Anki flashcards topic wise. And at the end of physiology, we can attempt Yosemite Rx question banks and U word question banks. After finishing physiology, we can move on to the pathology of that particular system in which we can attempt topic wise and key flashcards and then we can also attempt uh, U world and USMLE RS question banks. Finally, we can move on to pharmacology of that system in which after studying topics, we can do topic wise uh, and key flashcards and USMLE RX and U world question banks. So we finish each system in this manner beginning from anatomy then to physiology pathology and finally pharmacology of that system so this is the whole plan to do all the systems even though selection of order of organ system is a subjective matter but after lots of digging and based on my personal experience i'm gonna highlight a few points which are not only gonna help you in uh, selection of correct order of system but it's also gonna help you cover systems much more effectively with better retention after finishing general principles, we are going to take a start from gastrointestinal system in which we will do its anatomy, then physiology, then pathology and then pharmacology. And after that, we shall attempt uh, USMLE RX question banks and your question banks. Now, as you can see, I have arranged some systems into pairs and triplet formations. And there is a reason behind that because some systems are more related to each other than they are to others and it is best to do them one after another because these systems have overlap in u -word in certain aspects for example CVS and renal systems have overlap of hypertension drugs and heart failure and on the other hand CNS and musculoskeletal system have overlap of nerve functions and their drugs so it's best to do these systems one after another so that when we attempt u -word, we can see much more related questions so that is how we are going to do systems in this order as far as resources are concerned there are tons of resources out there but one resource good for one student may not be good for another student Therefore, choice of resources is totally subjective matter. I myself uh, primarily use Boards and Beyond, Pixorize and First Aid. As I have said before, one resource good for one student may not be good for all students. Just like one substrate can never bind all enzymes. It's just natural and therefore I have decided to create a universal substrate, a universal resource in the form of discussion. I will discuss each and every topic from the very beginning from the general principles along with their clinical correlations with question banks. I shall start from the general principles of physiology, pathology and pharmacology and then I shall commence organ systems. Okay then I'll see you guys next time with my first video on general principles of physiology. I hope to see you guys around until next time.